Hello, and welcome to Stata in 5, where I provide intuitive introductions to Stata commands in under five minutes. This is your host, Chris Curran, and in this episode, we'll be talking about the creating and naming variables using the generate, replace, and rename commands in Stata. Let's jump right in. As usual, we'll have our two Stata windows open. On the right-hand side is the do file editor, where we'll be writing our code or syntax, and on the left, we have the Stata output window. Now, in this example, I'll be using some data from the National Center of Education Statistics that has information on school districts nationwide. So I'll just begin by redirecting to my working directory using the cd command, and then using the use command to open that data set. I can see in the Stata output window that that data is open now because I have a list of variables available, as well as information about the file in the bottom right-hand corner. Now, let's imagine that we wanted to create a new variable, maybe based on some of the variables already in the data set. Well, to create a variable in Stata, we use a command called generate. And the command itself is just the word generate. Then we're going to say generate, and we're going to give it a variable name. In this case, let's give it the variable name md. So generate md. And then we often want our variable to start with a value. So in this case, let's start the value as 0. And what this command is doing is saying generate a new variable called md and set all of the values to equal 0. So let's try to run that command and see what happens. We'll highlight the command, execute that file. What we should see in our output window is that at the very bottom of the list of variables, we now have a new variable called md. And if we were to browse that variable, I'll just type browse md at the command line, I would see that all of the values for that variable are in fact zero, just as we had assigned it. Now, of course, the variable is not very interesting if it doesn't vary. So one thing we may want to do is change the values of a variable. So here I'll introduce a second command that's very useful for doing that, and that's the replace command. So the command is replace. We'll again specify the variable, in this case md, and we'll say, hey, let's replace md with the value 1 if some condition is true. Now here I'm using md to represent perhaps the state of Maryland. So maybe I want all observations that fall in the state of Maryland to have a value of 1. This would essentially be like creating a dummy variable, an indicator variable that's one if the school district is in Maryland or zero otherwise. Well, luckily for me, there is an existing variable in the data set that has a series of state abbreviators. So I'll grab that variable from the list of variables and paste it in my do file. And then I'm going to test the equivalency to the state abbreviation of Maryland, which is MD. The replace command then says replace the variable MD with the value one if the state abbreviation for that school is equal to the letters md. Now a few quick caveats to point out. One is that when we assign a value to a variable, we use a single equal sign. So when I'm putting the value of 1 in md, I use a single equals. When we're testing for equivalency, though, looking to see whether two things are the same, we use a double equal sign. So when I test whether the state abbreviation variable is equal to the letters md, I need to use the double equal. All right, let's go ahead and try to run that command. All right, I'll notice right off the bat that 25 real changes were made. So this changed some of the values in my data set. And so if I was to now look at the variable md, I would see that I have some values of zero as well as some values of one for those school districts in the state of Maryland. Now, of course, if you're not operating in Maryland, simply thinking about the letters md might not be that all informative or may not be that intuitive. So maybe I would decide that I wanna rename this variable. Well, we can use a command in Stata called rename. The syntax looks like this. We say rename md, and then we put the new variable name that we want to replace it. So maybe I will actually use the word Maryland, which might be a little more intuitive for someone who was not familiar with this data set or was not operated in Maryland. So let's highlight that command, run it. And now if I scroll down to the bottom of my list of variables, I see that I no longer have a variable called md, but I now have a variable called Maryland. All right, so what we've briefly saw here are three commands that can allow us to create a variable in Stata, that can allow us to change the values of that variable, and can allow us to change the name of that variable. So we've gone over the generate, the replace, and rename command in Stata. And these three commands are a great way to get you jump started with creating, modifying, and, and editing the variables that you're using in your data. So I hope this was useful. I look forward to having you join more for a future Stata in 5 segments. I would encourage you to subscribe and check out some of the other Stata tutorials and videos that are available on the channel. Thank you so much and look forward to seeing you in another session.